Now, one side in this campaign has been telling us that the issues of this election are the maintenance of peace and prosperity. The line has been used, we've never had it so good. I won't have to worry about putting gas in my car. I won't have to worry about paying my mortgage. You know, if I, if I help him, he's going to help me. But I have an uncomfortable feeling that this prosperity isn't something on which we can base our hopes for the future. The, the key point I'm making right now is that uh, the economy is moving in a positive direction. And yet our government continues to spend $17 million a day more than the government takes in. You're telling me we got to go spend money to keep from going bankrupt? The answer, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. We've raised our debt limit three times in the last 12 months. And now our national debt is one and a half times bigger than all the combined debts of all the nations of the world. We're going to raise the debt limit. Uh, we always have. Uh, we will do it again. We have $15 billion in gold in our treasury. We don't own an ounce. I have been informed by the, that the majority plans to block consideration of uh, this amendment, which is number 1367, regarding the transparency at the Federal Reserve. Foreign dollar claims are $27.3 billion. It said that China has now surpassed Japan as the U.S. government's largest creditor, owning at least 10 percent of all U.S. debt, perhaps as much as $700 billion. And we've just had announced that the dollar of 1939 will now purchase 45 cents in its total value. President Obama is expected to face tough questions over the U.S. decision to pump 600 billion freshly printed dollars into its economy. Now, the move is an attempt to revive the country's finances, but will result in the devaluation of the dollar. We're at war with the most dangerous enemy that has ever faced mankind in his long climb from the swamp to the stars. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. And it's been said if we lose that war and in so doing lose this way of freedom of ours. You'll construct a legal regime to make indefinite detention legal. History will record with the greatest astonishment that those who had the most to lose did the least to prevent its happening. Well, I think it's time we ask ourselves if we still know the freedoms that were intended for us by the founding fathers. For some trips, it'll be faster than flying without the pat down. <laughs> Anna was, was picked to go through. Pretty much everybody except the baby was, was picked to go through uh, the, the scanner. If we lose freedom here, there's no place to escape to. This is the last stand on earth. Damn America, that's in the Bible. Whether we believe in our capacity for self-government or whether we abandon the American Revolution and confess that a little intellectual elite in a far distant capital can plan our lives for us better than we can plan them ourselves. I've got a core set of values that uh, I think have to be advanced um, and, and that I, my individual salvation depends on uh, our collective salvation. You and I are told increasingly we have to choose between a left or right. Well, I'd like to suggest there is no such thing as a left or right. There's only an up or down. We had an election and it was about a direction for our country. And regardless of their sincerity, their humanitarian motives, those who would trade our freedom for security have embarked on this downward course. In this vote harvesting time, they use terms like the Great Society, or as we were told a few days ago by the President, we must accept a greater government activity in the affairs of the people. E pluribus unum, out of many, one. In the end, in the end, that's what this election is about. Well, the trouble with our liberal friends is not that they're ignorant, it's just that they know so much that isn't so. It, over the course of 10 years, it would cost what it would cost us. It, it, <laughs> All right. Okay. We're going to. The, it would cost us about the same as it would cost 